Happening now, NASA's Orion capsule is on its way home from the moon. Yeah, today's splashdown in the Pacific Ocean wraps up a three week test flight, an important one, we might add. ABC 13's Rosie Wynn is live at Johnson Space Center. Rosie, the next time this happens, hopefully people are going to be on board. That is the plan, Jeff and Erica. After more than three weeks in space, Orion will splash down on Earth later this morning. This is the first step of NASA's ambitious plan to create a long-term presence on the moon where they will eventually send a crew from to Mars. Now, you may remember this is after a series of multiple flight delays. It was originally supposed to take off back on August 29th. It did not successfully do so until November 16th. The uncrewed Artemis 1 mission traveled to the moon 20 25 days ago to test the equipment needed for humans to return back to the lunar surface and eventually on to Mars. It already set a record for traveling further than any other spacecraft designed to carry humans. We asked NASA's chief of exploration mission planning office what's next after this mission. So we actually get to do another flight test. Um, it's Artemis 2 and this time we'll have the crew on board. So this flight demonstrated the rocket and the spacecraft. The next flight, we actually put the crew on all the life support, environmental control, and show that this craft works with humans on it. Um, and we'll be sending crews on a free return flyby of the moon. Artemis 2 is scheduled to send four astronauts into space in 2024 for a lunar flyby before returning to Earth. NASA hopes this will be a gateway to eventual human missions to Mars. The spacecraft is scheduled to splash down in the Pacific Ocean and off the coast of Baja, California, about 1139 our time. NASA will be holding a press conference later this afternoon after the splashdown. They will be holding live coverage on their website and app. Reporting live from the Johnson Space Center, Rosie Wynn, ABC 13 Eyewitness News.